So now we're going to look at, briefly, at differential equations. So this is a very simple introduction to differential equations. Um, we are not going to get very in-depth with differential equations. Um, of course, you can take one or more undergraduate courses just on differential equations. We are only going to scratch the surface. Um, we could think of differential equations as an application of integration. If you like, there certainly will be integration involved. Um, but the techniques that go into solving differential equations go far beyond simple integration techniques. Um, there are all sorts of different techniques for, for manipulating differential equations and rewriting them, um, transforming them sometimes. And occasionally there are differential equations that we can't solve exactly, but that's okay. There are numerical methods. There are graphical methods. Um, there, there's some mention of some of these graphical and numerical methods in the textbook. Um, we probably won't really do those in the videos because those are, are sort of best done with uh, access to some software handy, right? We want to have plotting software. Uh, we want to have numerical software so we can calculate numerical values. We want to be able to plot graphs. Um, the light board is maybe not the best medium for that, okay? But just to get things started, what are we looking at here? Um, so we start with, you know, oops. our starting point is simply a function, okay? Looks like we're going to have to abandon green. So y, yeah, green is done. So we start with the function, y equals f of x, right? Um, as usual here, we want to think of x as an independent variable. We want to think of y as being the dependent variable, okay? And we can, you, you can, of course, eventually consider more than, you know, just these two, two variables. You can have more than that, but we're going to start somewhere. Right? And, of course, if we know the function, if we know what f of x is, then we can, we can play around, right? So we can, we can say things, well, we know that, uh, like, uh, dy dx, which we might, might simply write as y prime, right? Well, that's f prime of x. We can do that. We know how to calculate derivatives. We can compute these things, and that's fine. We're happy with that. Um, what typically happens with a differential equation is you're given some information about y prime, and you've got to figure out what the function is that satisfies the equation, right? And now, sometimes this is fairly simple. If I, if I give you something like y prime is equal to 2x, well, you'll say, hey, hang on, I know, I know a function whose derivative is, is 2x, right? Um, probably I should just say y is equal to x squared, right? That works, that's a solution of y is equal to x squared, right? That's f of x, f prime of x gives me 2x, fine. Um, and then you realize, actually, that's not, the, that's not the whole story, right? Because let's get a little bit more out of green. Um, Maybe there could have been a constant plus c, right? Yeah, let's give up on that. Right. So there, there could be more than one solution to the equation, right? In fact, there's, there's an infinite family of solutions, one for every real number, okay? Maybe you want to single out one of those solutions, right? We'll see this later on. We often We'll, we'll impose what are called initial conditions or initial values. We might say, okay, I actually want y of 0 to equal 4. And then you realize, well, y, you know, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to this constant, so that means I must have to have y equals x squared plus 4, right? Um, so we can do simple things like that. Um, but actually, you don't, you don't just stop there, right? If, we, if, if this is all we did, this is just integration, and we know how to do integration. So we, what, what changes? What becomes interesting? Well, in general, um, maybe for that y prime, we, we don't just consider something that depends only on x. Maybe we consider some function that depends on both x and y, right? So 
we might have some function of both x and y. And we try to come up with a solution. And sometimes we can do this, sometimes we can't, right? Uh, we'll, we'll see techniques that allow us to solve certain types of equations of this form, but not all types of equations of this form. Um, one example we're going to see, one of the very first examples we'll do, and I won't tell you how to solve it now because it's coming, we could say, well, what if we did, instead of y prime equals 2x, what if we did 2y? Hey, what if we did 2x plus 2y? What would you get then? Right? Um, so these are the sorts of questions that you might want to try to answer. Um, now, one of the things that you can do with this is you can, you can play around and you can say, well, you know, remember that y prime is supposed to give you slope, right? Here's where some of these graphical and numerical methods might come in. You say, hey, y prime is supposed to give me slope, right? Um, so if I choose a point x and a point y and I put them into this function, right, which depends on, you know, two variables, like I said, maybe it's like 2x plus 2y, right? Depends on x and y. Um, well, so then at every point in the plane, I get a number, and we think of that number as slope. And so you can, you'll see these pictures where you have kind of little bits of slope drawn at every point in the plane. Right, something like this. And you're, and you're trying to come up with a, a function, right? You're trying to come up with y as a function of x. And of course, you're trying to find y as a function of x so that when you, when you graph it, right, it fits those slopes. So we might have a, you know, something that, say, maybe travels like that, for example. Right? Um, so you might encounter techniques like that. Uh, most of the techniques that we're going to involve will be analytic. They'll be based on integration. They're going to be manipulating the equation until we can apply an integral. Um, but there is a lot you can do with this sort of graphical approach. Um, this kind of you know, thinking in terms of these sorts of pictures leads you into other areas. Um, dynamical systems, for example. Um, there are all these qualitative methods for solving differential equations that are really cool um, that you might see if you take a differential equations course. Um, we don't have time to spend a lot of it um, in, in a calculus course. We're just going to do a few basic examples that get you up off the ground um, with common situations and give you a little taste to hope that you might go and find out more later on.